What's happening, YouTube? Dan here, and we are working more on this. Uh, I really don't know what to call it. Uh, I guess cropping building, cropping house, greenhouse. I don't know. This massive structure of a facility that's going to be for food. Cropping facility. That's what I'm going to call it. All right. So um, we actually worked on a little bit of this uh, in between videos. We got uh, this, these little side things cut out uh, for the staircases. And we worked a little bit more on the brick right here or the stone brick right here. We've also worked on this outdoor portion right here. It's actually not going to be outdoors. This is going to be glass walls, glass ceiling. Basically, going to be like a greenhouse right here, but it's only going to be one story. And it's going to... I don't remember putting those there. What are those? I really don't remember putting those there. Anyway, um, this is where the sugar cane is going to grow. Oh my gosh, they're bothering me. Where do these come from and what are they? That is just bizarre. I never placed them. All right, eventually I'll get around this thing. There we go. So this is where the sugar cane will grow. We got this massive fountain right here. We've got to bring this out a little bit more. Actually, I have enough dirt to do that now. So let's get this built out a little bit more. But today's video, we're actually going to be uh, doing something a little bit different. Uh, still related to this, but we originally thought maybe we could get some uh, clay today. Well, actually, we do need some more stone brick to finish the floor. Um, not to mention we probably need the stone brick for other buildings in the future, so we're gonna be getting some stone brick today. Now, I know what the most easiest thing to do is to just get, you know, cobblestone, you know, weld it, melt it, smelt it, and turn it into one of those, uh, you know, turn it into stone, you know, solid stone, you know? But that, in my opinion, takes a little bit too long. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be going down to one of my secret tunnels. And we're going to be getting some stone brick from there. Um, I'm pretty sure I've been to this one of those uh, underground fortresses at least once in one of these videos. I honestly can't remember when that happened. But it has happened. I, I guarantee you it's happened maybe once a long time ago so after we do this there we go like I said after this we'll head on our merry way there we go all right much better and this is where the wall will be for it so I'll go right out to the water. Okay, so here we go. Let's head on over to our secret little uh, base. But actually, I should probably drop some of this stuff off. In fact, I'm not really going to need my coal. Um, I got plenty of torches. Torches, there they are. I got plenty of torches, so I think I'll be okay. I don't really need any coal for anything. So let's drop some of this stuff off, and then we'll head on over there. Now, um, like I've said in the last video, nothing has really been changing in this town. Um, but try to keep it very fo very video focused um, as opposed to doing things on my own because you know I want to show you guys the beginning middle and end of each of these projects so I'd rather not you know just randomly one day have four buildings built and be like oh yeah so I built those last night like uh, yeah just gotta accept it, bruh so we got that I'm sorry I, I, I need organization now that I know, I won't need this. I could put half of that in there. Get some clay burning. Got some sugar cane right here. Got an egg. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. There's that. I'm going to need that. And I could put the bucket back. And I'm going to need this. All right. Oh. All right, now let's head on over there. Do, 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 do. It's gonna be a, f no, it's not that far of a walk. It's just, it's a little far. And the sun's setting, perfect, perfect. So this will make it a little bit more eventful. Man, 
you know we got a lot still going on over here we still got a lot to do um, for all those of you who aren't aware uh, when perfect soldier um, begins airing we are actually going to be stopping Minecraft Utopia for the 15 week span that perfect soldier is being released between September 14th and the end of December I know that's crazy it's gonna be uh, September October November December almost like about three and a half months of no Minecraft is that insane um, but yeah it's it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and for those of you who are gonna be missing Minecraft you know check out Rooster Teeth's Let's Play you know look up some other Let's Play videos online because the, I'm telling you there's a million other people that do uh, these Minecraft videos so here we are in my favorite dungeon and I have been as you can see I've already kind of been stocking up um, on my own supplies been kind of already Taking out some of the whoa, jeez! I literally like jumped in my chair right there. Like that was that was terrifying. Well then, uh, good thing I brought that. Yeah, I know I'm running low on iron, but it's okay. Very dangerous, that's okay. Oh wait, I still got my sword, yes! And luckily, I already came through and got all the books. Did I? Yeah, I got all the books. Kind of odd that that just kind of goes in there. But man, I love these dungeons. These are so, whoa. I was wondering why I was moving slow. I love these dungeons. I really wish the worlds have more of them. Um, as of right now, I only have, I have a medium-sized world, um, but I started with just a small world, just this map. So, having one dungeon is kind of neat, but, like, I still haven't explored the rest of my, uh, medium world yet. So, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure, I gotta look it up, I'm pretty sure there's more than one. Um, I could be 100% wrong on that, and people are probably right now commenting, Dana, you are so wrong, you just couldn't be any more wronger. Mm. But I honestly have no idea. I honestly don't know if there's any more of uh, these dungeons because, like I said, I love them. I think they're the coolest. Um, gives me something else to really look for in the world as opposed to just like the usual supplies. It gives me something to explore. Um, but yeah, I, I think dungeons are really cool. I remember a long time ago, Tobuscus posted a video of this kingdom in the sky. I think it was like a beta test or something like that for Minecraft, but it was like all these blocks that were really bouncy. And I remember him visiting, in order to visit there, I remember he had to jump into not a por not a teleporter, but some kind of bouncing block thing that bounced him up into the sky. It was pretty cool. I honestly don't, it, I'm pretty sure it's like five years old now, um, but I, I remember seeing those videos and thinking, man, this is a really cool area because like right now you got like, the dungeon, of course, and then you got the nether, and I just, I really wish there was another dimension or something else you could really see, you know, something that you could get really invested in and spend a lot of time exploring, because, like, you can already explore the world, you can explore the nether, but, like, I really want more to this, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know, I just kind of like the, this whole RPG kind of style has grown on me more lately, and I just, I want more kingdoms to explore, more places to visit, you know what I mean? Just something, something to mix it up a little bit, so we'll see what Minecraft does, you know, for all we know, they do something new, or something revolutionary, but I know they've added more water stuff, um, I haven't really had a chance to really look at those very much, but I will get to that. I will get to those eventually. Sea turtles, you know, they're cool. Um, but yeah, so here we are. We're just gonna get this thing out of the way. Um, how many? I see 47 of the slime ones and 36 of the chipped ones, but how much of the regular one do I have now? Regular stone blocks, because like, I really didn't need too much. Uh, I might need more. Honestly, I might need more. Oh, that's another entry way. You know, I could actually tear this out. It is not necessary. There we go. 
Give me another excuse. Uh, give me another excuse to get more blocks. More of these stone bricks because I hate having extra walls. I hate the maze feeling that a lot of these dungeons give. Um, I do this a lot whenever there's two hallways beside each other. I always cut down the wall, make it a bigger space. And the way I always find my way back is by playing the double torches in the tunnel of which the exit is. Um, or the direction where the exit is. Um, that always helps me. For those of you who are ever lost in a tunnel, just look for the double torches and you'll find your way out. Because there's only ever going to be one... I mean, you can either go in the complete wrong direction or the complete right direction. So there's no... I mean, you can mess it up, but if you do mess it up, just go the opposite direction. You know, just turn around. Yes, I know there's a sound here. Just bam, sounds gone. All right, look at that. We got a lot more now. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna be able to reach these, but get rid of this floating thing. There we go. Looks a little cooler. All right, so I'm gonna leave it off with this. I know this wasn't much, but thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you liked this video, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. We're going to place down the rest of these blocks into the cropping facility. I'm so glad we finally figured out a name for it. Cropping facility, and um, we'll get some clay too. So, we'll see you guys next time.